Why am I showing those? Just because I want I want to be able to look at the video and maybe see the one with the egg. What kind of egg is it? What could hatch out of here? I don't know. It's even a mystery. In three, ten, three through ten, round each number to the place of the underlined digit. So I'm rounding this to the nearest ones place. Okay. Um, let's see. When we know it's five or greater, we go up to the next one. So that's going to be 17. Okay. This is this closer to 57 or is it closer to 56? Well, it's very close to 56 because it's only one tenth more than 56, whereas it's nine tenths away from 57. So this is going to run to 56. A lot of different strategies we can use. Now I'm rounding to the tenths place. Again, is this going to round down to one and three tenths or one and thirty hundredths? Same thing. Or is it going to round up to one and four tenths or one and forty hundredths? Well, 32 is a lot closer to 30 than it is to 40. So it's going to stay one and three tenths, or we could write it like that. Either one is fine. Let's put this squiggle line. Okay. And here I'm going to use the rounding rhyme. There's a lot of different ways. Okay. I noticed that the rounding rhyme is not part of this. Maybe you learned a rounding rhyme from your teacher last year, maybe Mr. Velasco, Miss Pham, someone taught you a rounding rhyme. So that could help us. Let's see, find your place, look right next door. Five or greater, is eight five or greater? Yep, add one more. Four or less, numbers stay the same. Numbers behind, zeros, your name. So the equivalent, or not the equivalent, the, the number we would round that to, is 42 and 8 tenths or 42 and 80 hundredths. Okay, now use the rounding rhyme. Maybe we'll down here, one more place. Let's look. So is this number either going to round Ooh, ooh I've got to fix that. Is it going to round up to one and six hundred sixty thousandths, or is it going to round down to one or one and six hundred fifty thousandths? Well, six hundred fifty-two thousandths is real close to six hundred fifty, so two away, whereas it's about eight away from that one. So it's going to round to that number. Okay, a lot of different ways we can think about it. If we were rounding to the ones place, this would just be 582. It's so close to 582. Well, let's see, 582 and four hundredths is real close to 582 and zero hundredths. And in fact, that's gonna be the answer. So what could it round up to? It would either round up to 582.10 or 582 and 10 hundredths is another way to say it. Or it's going to round down to 582 and nothing. Okay. And in fact, 4 is still closer to 0 than it is to 10. So that's why mathematically that's the right answer. Okay. Wow. 80,547. Let's see. Here's a case where we the it's at a 5. So it's in between. It's going to, we always round up. So it's going to be that is our answer. And sorry for the earthquake. 135,701 and 94, 949 thousandths. Let's look, the nine, find your place. Look right next door. Five or greater? Nope. Add one more. Four or less. This is four or less. This number stays the same. Numbers behind, so that number stays the same. Numbers behind, zero is your name. So zero is your name, zero is your name. So that's the right answer here. Okay, to that, it says round each decimal to the nearest whole number. Okay, 
So that means we need to know that in four and five tenths, four is the whole number we've got to find here. So let's see, is this closer to $5 or is it closer to $4? Well, when it's a five, we always round up. So it's closer to five. $57 and like, let's call it 30 cents. $57 closer to, sorry, $57 and 30 cents closer to 57 or is it closer to 58? Well, it's closer to 57. It's about 30 cents away from 57. $34.731, well, 73 cents and part of a little penny, doesn't even matter. 34, let's see, 73 cents makes it round up to the next, which is 35. Okay, 215 is 39 cents. Does that make it closer to $215 or $216? Well, it's 39 cents, it's a three, so it's gonna round down. Let's see, round to each number to the place on the underlined digit. Okay, right here I'm gonna use the rounding rhyme just because. Find your place, look right next door, five or greater. I'm nodding my head, uh-huh. Add one more. What's one more than one? It's two. Four or less, number stays the same. Numbers behind, zero is your name. Okay, we know that this is equivalent to this. All of those work as an answer. Round each number to the place of the underlying digit. Okay, I'm gonna go here. I'm gonna ask myself, is it closer to 750 or is it closer to 760? Well, 758 is much closer to 760 than it is to 750. It's only two away. So that's gonna be the right answer. Six and four, ooh, here's ten thousandths, very different. Six and four thousand, three hundred eighty-two ten thousandths. Let's find our place, no, do I wanna do it like that? Nah, let's just, let's see. It's either gonna go, like that, or it's gonna go, Up. 382. 382 is closer to, oh, never mind. 4,382 is closer. It's 82 away from 300. So it's really close. It's 18 away from the top number. That's what it's going to round to. Last problem. I'm gonna find my place, look right next door. Four or greater, I'm shaking my head no. Add one more. Four or less, this number stays the same. Numbers behind, like these two, zero is your name. Let's jump to the back. Draw all of the lines of symmetry in the figure below. That means we could fold it over itself. There's one. We could also fold it over this way. That's it, I, th I think. Okay, so if it were a square, it would have more lines of symmetry. We can't go like this because the pieces wouldn't fold over. Exactly. Excuse me. The picture at the right shows the length of an average American alligator. Oh, it's huge compared to me. I'm not even two meters tall, and I'm very tall. What is the length of the alligator rounded to the nearest tenth? Round to the nearest tenth. So it's either going to round up to four and forty hundredths of a meter, or down to four and thirty. Well, it's real close to four. It's only one hundredths away. So it must be. Mm. To the nearest hundred, what is the greatest whole number? Now I started them, I gotta, I'm gonna finish it. That rounds to 2,500. What is the greatest whole number? 
hun to the nearest hundred. Mm. To the nearest hundred. Mm. Okay. I'm thinking it through. I don't like how this question is phrased. What number could I have that would round? Oh, the great, okay. Well, I just found the least number. Uh, the least number that would still round if you're rounding in the hundreds place up to 2,500 is here. So the five would make it round up to 2,500. So on the other hand, we could have 2,549 and it would still round down if we're rounding in the hundreds place to 2,500 is 49 is closer to 500 than it is to 600. So least number, this is the greatest. Okay. Bit tricky.